This is Phyllis Shapiro, the creative consultant at afc-express.com. And today, with St. Patrick's Day approaching, I would like to show you how to make a four-leaf clover overskirt to put over a green skirt and have your child be all ready for that St. Patrick's Day parade. Okay, here we go. I have folded, I've cut and folded some of the extra satin that I had that was used for the waistband, that upper band. I've made an eight inch square, or just about an eight inch square, eight and a half inch in this case, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fold it over and I have made a template with a fold of just what I view as one of the leaves of a four-leaf clover would look like. And I'm going to attach that with the fold in the right place and cut on through. Okay, so I have my little template that I will take off. And now I should have four leaves. And I left this straight because at the end I'm actually going to bend this over and make a casing that I'm going to thread something through. So this will fit over. And the next step here is to take my ruffled edge, which I also have kept a little bit extra, and I'm going to sew the ruffle around each leaf. Okay, so now I've cut my four petals for the four leaf clover, and I'm going to put my ruffling around the edge and make a little channel, I made this one a little narrow, that I'm going to put a piece of the chiffon, the three inch chiffon through to make it something I can tie on to the skirt. Okay, here we go. In order to help make the channel, first I'm making a little diagonal cut, a little diagonal run. When I get to where I want to attach my ruffle, I'm just going to take my ruffle and lock it in. And start to sew it just all the way around, very simply. You can use a straight stitch, which I'm doing right now. You can use a zigzag stitch. Anything that on your machine you're comfortable with. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around. As I get to the end, I'm gonna cut my ruffle to about equal the length of the petal, I'm going to make a little diagonal at the petal. I can even double this under if I want. Let's get up to the edge. If it sticks, you can see I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the back. I'm locking this in. going to then fold this over to make my little channel for the drawstring. Okay, one petal. Do this four times. I've taken a wide-eyed needle, I've threaded my chiffon through, and now I'm going to go through the channel. And try to make your channel at least that half inch wide, so that this pulls right through. 
that's where it's narrow, it's going to get a little tight. And it should come right through. Okay, so now I have my four petals on my band. And what I'm going to do is just tie this around on top of the green skirt, and I have a little model that I'm going to show okay, you what it's going to so I've just tied this around the waist, tied it in a little bow in back, or you could put, a little, again, a little piece of elastic in, and it can just run up. And now you've got a cute little four-leaf clover girl for your St. Patrick's Day parade. But I think someone will have a really great time going out and being a very lucky four-leaf clover. Have fun. Phyllis Shapiro, afc-express.com. Let me know how you're doing. Thank you.